Let's go. Let's rock. Let's start out on Caper, a.k.a. Lord Voldy for this one. The reigning champion. Defending champion, anyhow. Green, Mega, Green. Oh, two perfect rockets, Grinchow. Poor bastard. And a spawn rocket. He is so screwed right now. Bull, uh, yeah, Caper has complete control. I, I know I'm going to call him Voldemort at some point. Anyhow, he does hit two rails, loses his life for it, but he gets Caper down to starting stack, which isn't a horrible trade if he can win this LG fight. He can grab those two 25s up there. That rail equalizes things again. The Mega's not up for a while. He has positioning. Caper down to 19. Grinto has just a little bit more. Oh, he hits the rail. He's one away. Mega Health brings him up to starting stack. He should go to red now. Hits the rail. He's gonna go for the follow-up. Caper's so weak, he gets it! Renja. Very nice. Oh, he uses crap. Not just whatever. Eats a direct rocket, but he's still doing better than Caper is. Caper is a walking corpse. It's uh not a good situation for Caper. It's all tied up. Does hit an aerial rail, which will deny Grinja some position. And hits a follow-up. Caper retakes the lead. Doesn't have a lot to work with. Both major items up at the same time. There should be a split on these. I don't think... Oh, Caper may get both of them now. If he rushes to Mega, he can come back to red, but he might have given up Mega. No, he, he should still get it. But he keeps eating these rails from Grenja. And another one. 120 health for... Or 190 health for uh, Grenja here, and he is one away in a pretty good spot. Deals a rail... Hits a second one. Grinja's rails are just something else right now. I, they may carry him here. Hits another one. Just using it as a melee weapon, essentially, at this point. Reminds you of CZM a bit. I miss CZM. Anyways, Caper stuck over the grenade spawn. This should be an easy frag for Grinja, but... Manages to get away. The yellow armor's not up for a while, so... He has his pick of items. Caper does get the red. He's in a... Pretty bad spot, misses all his rockets. But he maybe in a maybe in a position to get Mega. No, he's going for the kill. And who's to speak against him at this point? But he jumps, and that's an easy shot for Grenja, who ups his lead to two frags. It's another rail. This is uh, this is some impressive stuff from. Uh, I'm sorry, this is some impressive stuff from Grenja here. Red armor is up, and I don't think Caper will have anything to say about this, unless he does something very rash, which Grinchot goes to the teleport for some reason. He is down to nothing. Caper doesn't realize Mega's not up for another 10 seconds. You're going to get the 25 health bubbles. Nah, Grinchot's in position, and he can't risk going there. He doesn't quite manage to screw up Grinchot's jump, so... He's still just barely alive here. He can't even go for this yellow with confidence. Grinchot, fortunately for him, is not looking that way. No items up for a while now. This could be a time for Grandjaw to go on the hunt. But, eats a rail. He's still in a good position. It just slows him down a bit. Eats a second one, though, and that's uh, starting to look a little bit rougher. An all-in play from uh, Caper. Maybe even attempting a telefrag. Grandjaw weakened substantially, but he has the positional and weapon advantage. Caper... Oh, he hits a good rocket, though. And now Grandjaw has to flee. He has no choice, and he's dead. One frag lead for Grandjaw. You can't get too cocky here. It'd be the natural thing to do, but uh, I think he has to be a little careful. Again, another rail. Seems uh, Caper a little bit confused by this, but the uh, LG damage will more than equalize the situation for Caper. Playing the teleporter quite a bit. This is that rocket. Ooh, nice dodging here. Caper now out of rockets. Benjot trying to play the long range game. It suits him. I mean, he's been hitting hard with that, uh, that weapon. Caper gonna chase through. Picks up the splash. Not a big deal. He's pretty low. Red armor's up. Put him up to 100, 100. Ooh, that rail would have been huge. It would have knocked Caper down, and he would have been railable. I mean, he would have been anythingable at that point. You know, an angry thought from Grandjaw would have killed Caper then, but he missed it. And Caper's in a position where he can not quite fight on even turns, but he can at least sort of defend himself, not insta-die to anything. So, let's see here. Going for the red armor jump. No, no, he's uh, trying to make sure Caper isn't hanging out here. Caper with some very spotty lightning gun. Grenjot will get it. No uh, spam on the grates on that uh, red armor to deal damage. And he chases through the teleporter. Grenjot didn't have the LG out. What a mid-air prediction rocket. Very nice. I guess it's smiling. You know, that's, uh, that's some good shit. Grenjot dropping down aggressively. 
unable to get the Mega, and yeah, Caper extends his lead to two frags. Still, though, it's not too bad. Caper hasn't had crazy eye control. In fact, both players generally have been in that kind of 100 to 200 health range. They haven't, you know, we haven't had the point in the game where one of them's just a tank rolling over the other one uh, with his massive stack. Yellow armor is up, but Grinja isn't going for it. He's going for the rails up close. And it looks like he'll be denied, denied this yellow also. So 100-100 on Caper. Grinja, again, jumping at the Mega when he has nothing. And Caper has position better back. An easy rail hit there from Caper. He's starting to assert himself a bit. Grinja's got to play this one very carefully. Firing rockets up at the stairs on the red. Just not all that good a gamble. And because he came back through the teleporter... Um, oh, did it cut off? Well, whatever. You know who it is. I'll, I'll just have to adjust that. I didn't have time. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. So, yeah, Grinja is starting to get spawn run a little bit. Now Caper has that stack where he can just go for kill after kill, and he's even denying the yellow armor off the spawn. Doesn't quite manage to do it that time, but Grinja is so weak. He's, uh... You know, right now Gandhi could beat him in a boxing fight. He doesn't have any health. Won't be able to get this red either. Caper's gonna kill him right now. For a second, I thought a Talifrag was gonna be concluded. And another rail hit as he jumps down. He does get him weak. Uh, he does get him down to. Uh... Oh, I see. There's no R in the name. Whoopsie. Misspelled it. That's terrible. I'll fix it between maps. But yeah, Cape, man, it looks so good for Grinja early. I mean, I thought he was gonna do it, actually. Or at least that it was better than 50 50 that he would do it. Does hit the rail off of three health, but he doesn't have much to go off of, and the rockets are going to cripple him substantially. Will he be able to make something happen here? Doesn't look like it, and engaging in a rail battle. I mean, they're both railable, so it's uh, a rough situation for both. Not trusting his jump there, and yeah, Caper pays him off. It, uh, as I said, extremely encouraging start from Grenja. I'm curious to see what he does on the next map, which is uh, Sinister. Sinister also a map where you can play the railgun quite a bit, and that appears to be the way he'll have a shot against uh, Caper. I think Caper's rockets are too good for uh, Grenja. He's going to have to choose situations when to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive. Caper down for, to 4 health, but going for the cheeky rails nonetheless. He knows that he can afford to be a little, uh, a little obnoxious given the lead that he has. 12 frags in two and a half minutes is not an impossible lead on this map, but against Caper with his defensive capabilities, I think it's going to be kind of rough. His caper abilities? That's a terrible pun. Not that any puns are good, but some of them are worse than others. All puns are bad, but some are better than others. And fairly even stacks at the moment. I don't think that... Uh, I believe Grenja has the lightning gun at this point, so. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Looks like a tournament's being thrown into disarray. Black saying he can't play? That's no good. That's a, that's a real shame. Ooh, Oriana's putting the hard question to him. He's gonna grill him. Let's see this drama. Ooh, direct prediction rocket. I might have been spam, but whatever. Point is, Grenja walked right into it and did 100 damage. Ah, ooh, we're having some connection issues, and I'm guessing that's paper because uh, he shook his mouse a bit there. That'll be map one to Caper, who gets another nice spawn rocket onto uh, Grenja. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it now since this game is uh, over, essentially. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, okay. So, player two, Grenja. Boom. Fixed. Yeah, we'll see how Sinister goes for Grenja. You know, maybe uh, a little bit slower map, able to play it a bit more conservatively. We'll see. He does seem to rush too much. Uh, as Cypher would say. Yeah, last 20 seconds of this uh, this one. Grinja not feeling the need to forfeit it out. He's going to play the whole 10 minutes. Who knows, maybe something could happen that would go on a frag movie. 
that things must be considered. Plus, a good warm up to get your aim ready. Just get a kill here. Constellation frag. These <laughs> were with the pummel out, being able to play fourth grand draw. Taunting in this touch. There we go. So, victory for Caper in the first map. We'll see what the second one brings. A lot of fun. Yes, indeed. I mean, again, early on, Grenja looked really, really good. I thought uh, I thought we were going to see an upset. Caper able to get some momentum going, and uh, in the end, Grenja was unable to uh, to stay the course. And there we go. So, map one over to. Caper, the defending champion of the Quake Live One Night World Cup U edition. I know Brock on the on TFTV was saying he won an NA version of this, to which I responded, make it happen. Maybe someday we'll get some NA cups also. I'd be happy to broadcast those as well. And play in them and get wrecked probably, but that's fine. Okay, we are readied up. Map number two between... Caper and Grenja. Let's start off on Grenja and see how it goes. Mega start. He's going to rush over to red. He'll get both big items. Question is, which weapon he's going to go for? He's going to drop to the LG. Yep, he is. Tries to avoid the fall damage. Doesn't quite manage it. we we'll get the yellow also. Oh, this could be a kill right here. Caper only had the rail out. I don't know if he meant to step on that bounce pad. Um, kind of questionable. But he can get himself all three big weapons, and he'll have the stack advantage. Yeah, he should get this kill. Nice LG from... Grenja gets the first frag. Red armor's up first. Grab this and head right over to the mega, I think. Not bother about the upper yellow, it's pointless. Nor the yellow one, the lower yellow one. Alright. Caper playing smart, playing the rail game. Doesn't want to get close. He has a timing on mega, but maybe held on a little bit too long. Another frag for Grenja. He is weakened, though, substantially. And I think the lower yellow, yep, goes to Caper. He's on a slight stack to his advantage. He's got to play his weapons well, and he's got to get up to that red to at least do damage on Caper. Caper, it appears, not in good position to take it. Will the rocket be strong enough? Some serious airtime on Caper there. Grenjok going through the teleport. Risky, risky with no lightning gun. But he wants it and hits the rail. 3 0 to Grenjok, the British champion. Or the British. Uh, uh, he hasn't won anything, so I can't say champion. What? Whatever. The Brit. Let's make it happen. Has about 200 collective health and armor. Red armor up next. A nice rotation. I wonder if he realizes the cycle is so convenient for him. I hope so. I hope so. He can get all the armor and the mega. He has no lightning gun though, so he better be on the lookout there. Upper yellow is spawned, but he has so much better position to take it than does Caper. Caper should get this lower yellow and then just get the hell out. No sense in him sticking around here, unless he wants to go for a cheeky rail shot. Uh, he may miss out on this red armor, my uh, Grenja. I don't think he realized. I don't think he realized that the cycle was the way it was, and he could have gotten everything. It's a tough thing. It's a tough thing. <laughs> he picked it because it's not Quake World. Ooh. Yeah, Oriana, if you want to do a Quake World version, I'd be happy to cast that one too. Uh, I think it's fun to watch. All right, Caper on the board now. That. Uh, some misplays by Grenja, but he does have a two-frag lead, and he has a chance to get the kill right now. Will he be able to make it happen? He's got the machine gun out, just four more bullets, five more bullets. Yeah, four more bullets would have done it, but he gets the rocket frag, and he's going to get red, and make no, he's not going to get the red. Caper with the perfect spawn to deny it, and he's got LG, so he can't drop. He can go for rail shots, but he can't stand still. Oh, Caper's so weak, but he's going to get the frag. That drop was just doomed to failure. And Grenja, though, with the rockets off the spawn, re-extends the lead to three frags. Where is the spawn from Caper, though? Will he be on this red as he was last time? Grenja, nice rail shot there. I thought he was just going to go into the shaft battle. It would have been very close. But uh, he pulls out the rail gun. Again, though, after the kill, Caper just spawns on the major item and is able to deny it. These close-range rails aren't working out for him, though. And Grenjon now has a 5 frag lead. This is looking pretty good for him, but it was looking good on Airwalk also. Not this good, though. 
Will Caper hang around up here? He grabs the yellow and he just leaves. He doesn't need to be here. It's not uh, good for his health. Grenjaw, though, maybe he's just too focused on killing Caper, but he needs to realize the red is up and he needs to get it. He cannot allow Caper to get it, which he just does. And he loses the frag. That was terrible. Shouldn't have bothered so much with the damage. Should have just gotten the item. And if you catch Caper on the way up, cool. Nice mid-air rocket. That was a good shot. That was, uh, that was terrific. It looks like Caper's on the comeback. I hope, uh, I hope Grenja's not tilting at all. That would be... When you have a big lead, but then you give up three quick frags, that can happen sometimes. You just... Everything goes to shit, and you're just, you don't know what to do. Let's, uh, let's switch over to him. Let's see. What's he gonna do? He's got the railgun, of course. He's got some armor. Got all three weapons that he needs most. Making a fair amount of noise around the map. I think he should probably play a little sneakier. And he needs a rail. He's railable at this point. Just has to back off, but to play a little quietly so Caper doesn't know where he is. Caper going up for the red armor. For whatever reason, he's not there in time. I don't know. Maybe he's baiting it out and just didn't realize Grenja would come with that much speed. Comes through the tele. A lot of damage by. Grenja, he's down to starting health basically as Caper, but he gets another frag uh, closer. Things are slipping away a little bit. Oh, close range lightning gun. That, set, that last rocket uh, really crippled Grenja there. He's got to back off and build up again. He can afford to be patient though. I mean, he has five minutes and he has the lead, but in this situation he's just going to die. Again, Caper down to starting health. He seems to have a better grasp of when the yellows are up. And lower yellow is not going to go to uh, Grinja either. It's going to go to Caper. So 100-100 for the Austrian. Grinja comes through, hits a rail. It's traded off. He can't go through again. Surely he's insane if he does that. Is he, he's going for the 50 HP. And he's going to die here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize uh, Grinja's a, a Dane. Somebody should have told me that. That got it. Alright, sorry, uh, so Caper leading over Grenja. 8 to 7, one frag lead. Grenja challenging up the stairs. Caper runs out of ammo. What an odd situation. They both almost fell down the, uh, the tube there. Grenja going to the correct armor. Yeah. Get these shards probably and uh, be able to get the yellow. The major items aren't up for a while, but Grenja wants the kill right the heck now. These rockets, though, are pretty persuasive. The rail around the corner is spot on, though. Upper yellow, again, uh, an item available right off the spawn for uh, Caper. He's not hanging out near this red. He's probably going for the Mega right now. And he does. He gets it. The stacks are in favor of Caper, and even more so with oh these two rail hits. Grenjaw just got slammed. That was, uh, that was a rough, rough thing to take. And up the jump pad comes Caper. He has enough stack that he can just jump. Oh. This is uh, looking tough for Grinja, but wait, it's a tight game again. How did I must have missed a frag in there somewhere? Caper though with the control, he's able to maneuver around the map as he pleases. He's got enough ammo to kill Grinja a few times. Oh, that rail hit! Grinja must not have seen him down there. Is Grinja still hanging out up top? I would jump, jump down, and this rail is Caper gonna hit this rail? No. Instead of strafe jumping, Grenja just walks, and uh, I think Caper anticipated the strafe jump. Nonetheless, through the teleporter, Caper's rail finds the target. Target acquired by old Caper. Does not use his lightning gun in some time. And apparently, a default win has just been declared in the screen chat, so that's unfortunate. Another frag for Caper. Things may be getting away. Caper solidifying his control. He has 200, 200. I don't know. Is this the first time we've seen someone get up to 200, 200? Well, he's down to 150, 100, but he gets another frag out of it. One, two minutes 20 to get four frags now, and Grenja, I think, has slipped out of it. Just looks so, so good early on, but wasn't able to make it work and unaware of Caper's location. Just gets railed. That's tough. Uh, there's not much I can say. It's uh, it's tough, it's tough to be in this uh, this spot here, when you have the position to win. And if you play it right, you do win. But Caper's a good player. It's hard to hold him back. There's no doubting this. And it looks like Mars and somebody else is gonna play a match right after this one. So 
Uh, if you guys want to stay on the server, that'd be great. Or if you guys want to join the server, I don't know. Are you guys in there already? No, you're not. So join the server, guys. Unless the ping is ridiculous. But yeah, it looks like Caper has this one in the bag. Five frags doable, true. Uh, but I find it unlikely. Unless uh, Grand Judge pulls out a miracle. Caper, again, going for cheeky rails. Seven frags of difference at this point. Things looking dire. Caper chasing with 10 health. Doesn't care any longer. Keeps hitting rails. I'm going to be curious to see what the accuracies are afterwards. Ranger gets a frag back, but it's too little too late for the um, British dealer. Nice LG on the uh, the jump pad, though. That was pretty, pretty good looking, but the spawn delays alone basically make it impossible. Plus this inevitable lightning gun frag. That's GG right there, and uh, it was a tremendous series, even though it's going to be 2-0. That was a really, really nice series. Grinja showed us quite a bit, and I think Grinja in the lower bracket is going to be a problem for a lot of people. I uh, I, I hope that uh, Grinja's mentality is still good after this. You know, Caper won the last two cups. I hope Grinja doesn't take that too harshly and you know loses confidence because she was playing excellently. You know, um, I think she can really make some things happen here. But uh, GG to Caper, who hit over half of his rockets in some fashion or other. 60% rail for both of these guys. Or sorry, both these folks. That's uh, that's something right there. That's uh, pretty impressive stuff. But uh, in the end, Caper, Caper takes it. Let's, I, I'm curious to see if Grandjack can maybe come back and disrupt things a little bit.